Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Andrew and this is an AWS tutorial series on Amazon's Simple Email Service. In this tutorial series, we're going to go over the Simple Email Service setup and all the different configurations, as well as setting up a Node.js application. And in that Node.js application, we're going to use the AWS SDK and we'll use SES to verify some email addresses and also send out some emails with some attachments. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna to want to boot an EC2 server. And on this EC2 server, I'll walk you through installing Node.js, as well as a sample application I've already created for you. So we'll go ahead and launch an instance, and we're gonna choose Ubuntu. T2 Micro is fine since it's just a demo. And we'll call this AWS SES Tutorial. And we're going to leave all inbound and outbound traffic wide open since it's just a demo. And we'll go ahead and launch this instance with a key pair I've already created. So now that our server is launched, we can go ahead and log in using the public IP. And so we'll provide our key pair that we've created. We'll log in as Ubuntu. And I already have all of these commands all laid out for you in my GitHub repository, which I'll link below. So please make sure you take a look at that. And I'll just be copying and pasting them over as I go. So if we jump over to my GitHub, here are the steps you're gonna to need to get this up and running. So the first thing we'll do is sudo up. We'll run an update. We'll run an upgrade. We'll run a dist upgrade. We'll auto remove any packages we don't need. And now we're going to install Node.js, NPM, and Git. Um, these are what we'll need to get Node up and running and be able to run our application. So we'll install those. Great, so now that that's all installed, we're gonna go ahead and do a quick symlink. Uh, for legacy versions of Node.js, uh, it was in a different bin directory, so that'll get us up and running. And now we're gonna clone this repository because in this repository, I have my own uh, app.js as well as a package.json and a configuration file for you uh, to easily work with. And so now we'll CD into that new repository that we've just pulled down. And we're going to run npm install and we're going to install everything in package.json. Basically this is Express and the AWS SDK which I've already uh, prepackaged for you. Great, so all of those installed successfully. So the one thing you're gonna to wanna to do is copy the sample config file I have to config.json and edit that with your AWS keys. And you're gonna also wanna edit app.js with your email address. And I'll do this behind the scenes so I don't expose my uh, AWS keys and I'll show you how to do app.js. So now we'll edit app.js here and we're just going to put our email address where it says var email equals. And all we're going to do is we're just going to send it, uh, emails directly to ourselves. So now that that's set up, we can go ahead and start Node. And all we're going to do is run node app.js. And that will begin running Node on port 80. So before we get too involved here, I want to go over the SES dashboard. Here in the dashboard, we have basic things like our sending quota and our deliveries. Uh, when you first sign up for SES, you'll have to get your limit raised and also be able to be approved for other email addresses as well. Um, we have SMTP settings, so if you wanted to configure SMTP on your server, you could also send through Amazon SES here. We have the suppression list removal, and basically what this is is if Amazon uh, figures out that an email address is invalid, uh, they will stop allowing uh, email to go to it, and if you know that that email address is valid, you can sign it back up, um, and they will un uh, unblacklist it for you. And here in email addresses, you can verify your own a new email address. We're going to do this through code, but you could also just go ahead and click verify a new email address as well. And you can also verify a domain to send from. So if you had at example.com, you can uh, verify that entire domain so anyone from that domain can send emails out. So let's go ahead and verify an email address. So in app.js, which I have in my GitHub here, we're gonna run this verify function, which is gonna verify an email address that we configured in this email variable. So if we go to our public IP address and we click send verify, 
and we see we're going to get a request ID and that this was successful. So what we'll do is we'll go to my email and we'll check to see that we got a verification. This is a typical email you get when you go to verify an email and all we're going to do is click on this email verification link and we can see congratulations you have successfully verified an address with SES. So great so now we can send and receive from this email address. So now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to list out our valid email addresses just to make sure that that, that it's there. So we'll go ahead and run list and you can see that our verified email addresses are mine and we have that valid request ID. So now if we go to our verified email addresses we can see that this email is verified and that's pretty cool. And we can also see that there's some alt extra things that we can do like set up SNS topics for bounces, complaints or deliveries so we can further uh, perform some other actions as well. Um, and so now what we want to do is we want to actually send an email via the send raw email function. Um, that I've already created for you. Now I'm not going too in depth on this code. I'm going to let you go ahead and do that. I know I'm kind of speeding through it, uh, but it's in my repository for you to check out. So if we go to send and we can see that we got a message ID and a request ID and everything is valid, uh, we can go ahead and check the email. And in this email, I should have an attachment and a body. And here we go. We can see that there is a, this is the body of an email and that we have an attachment and a subject and that it came from Amazon SES. And here's our attachment. So the next thing I want to show you is basically the steps to verify your domain. That's basically you type your domain in here and click generate DKIM settings. And these DKIM settings are DNS entries that you'd have to put uh, inside of your uh, zone file. And this will basically tell Amazon that, yes, I am verified and I want you uh, to be able to send emails on my behalf. And so now the last endpoint I want to show you is the delete. And basically this is just going to delete our verified email. So we're going to go ahead and click delete here. And we got a good request ID. And if we jump back to our SES, and we go to our email addresses, and we click refresh, we can see that that email is gone. And that finishes off our tutorial. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them in the comments section below. And please remember to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.